Today's video is about some of the improvements that I made regarding the laser engraver and uh, some changes to my software setup that I've introduced in the last couple of days. Hello and welcome back. In the last couple of days I've made a number of changes on my hardware and software setup. Um, most notably um, is the new design of the uh, of the laser head um, which now has um, a type of uh, funnel that makes sure that I don't get any stray light, uh, stray ultraviolet light onto um, the pieces that I want to engrave on or if I want to expose them with ultraviolet um, I don't want to have too much stray radiation and um, this simple this simple 3d printed piece uh, does the job quite well and um, I also uh, did some enhancements uh, to the layout as you can now see um, I can now print slanted lines um, that don't have any backlash issues um, as I had before and uh, that was quite a problem and it took me quite some time to figure it out but in the end it turned out that uh, two bearings on the y-axis were blocked and they were causing the backlash and well it was easy to fix and now it works almost perfectly I've added a little value uh, for backlash in the y-axis, but I'm already thinking of removing it again. Later on, I did some software development uh, to produce a uh, a tool to make uh, to turn uh, bitmaps into something that I could plot. I found a lot of tools online, but uh, some of them uh, needed to be licensed and uh, for what they could do they were really expensive and others didn't work for me or produced output that my um, my CNC can't handle so I went ahead and I cobbled together something of my own and it seems to work quite alright I also went ahead and I did another uh, outline plot on a PCB and I took that PCB and I actually put it in the etchant and um, yeah that turned out pretty bad in fact it didn't etch at all I suspect that although when I'm hitting it with the laser and I can see the uh, the copper under the paint and there might still be a coat of ink that is transparent that I'm not removing yet um, I'll investigate further on that, but I just didn't get to it and I didn't want to spend the time. But most notably um, are the changes in the software setup. Um, I'm able to uh, use the laser for engraving. Um, it's a very simple method. I'm, I'm actually just rasterizing the bitmap and I'm plotting it one line at a time. Um, I can actually tell the rasterizer what the uh, diameter of the laser dot is and it does quite well although it's um, basically the first few tries it's quite slow and uh, it's also quite smelly um, the only thing that I've uh, yet used um, to burn things into is cardboard and uh, that leaves quite an awful paper smell uh, but apart from that, um, these are the most uh, notable developments from the past two weeks. I didn't get to do a lot, and I had to do a lot of research uh, in getting my stuff running. Um, I did stay with my El Cheapo laser power supply, but uh, this has been working quite well. Um, surprisingly well, indeed. Uh, because uh, it's actually pretty constant. I was expecting uh, quite a lot of uh, voltage fluctuations, um, but it seems to work pretty well with the laser module that I have. And um, 
uh, the type of uh, power supply in the laser um, seems to suggest that it can work with different input voltages quite well. So that was uh, a pretty nice surprise. Um, there's not much more to show off. Um, I did work on the uh, on the firmware for the uh, Arduino board, um, so so I can do engraving a little better. And I'm going to do a few more changes to the V4 firmware. And uh, when I'm done with that, I'm going to upload them. Actually, not a lot to talk about. Um, Apart from the things that now work, which is uh, which is engraving and uh, and uh, using the laser to draw on things, um, not a lot more. I'm thinking of spending some time uh, building another Z-axis setup, maybe to try um, putting a small motor and a spindle on there, um, but that might take some time. I've been working on. Uh, on the STL files so I can upload them and uh, share uh, at least this setup. Um, most of the parts are very easy to print. I'm thinking about making a new set of pillars and uh, stepper holder that is uh, slightly taller, about one and a half centimeters taller than this one is, so I can put larger things on the on the table to engrave them or or to do anything with them. Um, I did work on a uh, on a pen holder, um, but it's nothing that I can really show off. I did run out of filament, um, so these few black parts are the remaining filament that I had, and um, I'm pretty happy that I have that filament gone now because it was it was probably the worst filament that I've had all last year. Um, it had loads of beads and there were bents in the filament and it it wasn't true on the diameter so it was quite a pain to work with. Um, for today that's it. Um, I will be posting some updates uh, about the software. When I'm done with it, uh, I will be um, doing more experiments with working the laser maybe on photopositive uh, PCB. And uh, when I've got more, I'm gonna come back and report. So for now, thanks for watching and bye bye.